those sinners. So last week I did break into EA headquarters and today I am here to leak the new expansion pack to you. I just realized that leak has EA in it, the word. Defo does a video on Sunday as well. Uh, before we continue this... <laughs> but before we take a look at university, this video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Not sponsored. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. I don't know why I keep getting invited, but I am always grateful and I also attempted to vlog. Will we see that? I'm about to mount this bitch. Will I pull it out of the bag? Will I pull it out of my ass? We don't know. <laughs> also, speaking of ass, sorry if I sound like ass. I think I am getting the flu. Could be swine flu. <laughs> speaking of pigs, is that... <laughs> Why was that the best transition I've ever had? Speaking of pigs, this video will be a two-part series because I am Shane Dawson. Where are my 10 million subscribers? Where are my 10 million pounds? Where are my 10 million pallets? I could not, and I repeat not, fit every single bit of information and knowledge into this video. I don't know if it's my brain capacity or the capacity of this expansion. So I will be double penetrating your sub box this week. Just as a side note, I haven't played every single thing in this pack, so whilst this is a review, we may miss a thing or two. I am just on some other shit today. <laughs> right, okay, let's just jump into The Sims 4, get debt, ooh ooh. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but I don't know any other way to translate this for Americans, I'm sorry. I mean, even the university town itself is called Brightchester, but I actually prefer to refer, <laughs> I like to refer to it as Britchester because the town looks rather European to me. We may as well call it fucking Brexit chest. <laughs> oh my god, I'm on a green screen. Rise and shine. Okay, so the world has three districts. There's Foxbury, Brightchester, and this livable area which has most of the housing, but there's also dorms that you can live in on both campuses. And you don't even need to live in the same world. You can live wherever the fuck you want. You wanna get a, live in Solani and get an Uber to college <laughs> over the sea every day? Be my guest. It's not like The Sims 3 University where you are cut off from society, we live in a society, just kidding, you don't. <laughs> like, you know that mother that birthed you? You can actually go visit her whenever you would like, for Christmas, oh weekends, oh the middle of the week when you're having a mental breakdown. <laughs> the only thing I will say is that the trailers did catfish all of us. Every single one of us. Even Neve and Max did not see this coming. If we watch the trailer, we can see a robot lab, and one would assume that that means there are active classes, like maybe a lab, a kitchen, an art studio, a photography studio, maybe a music room. Fucking none of that exists. <laughs> none, none of, of it. it. <laughs> and the only robot station that exists in the entire world is in Foxbury. Do you see this hoodie? Girl, that's a booty hole. I'm gonna have to cross enemy lines. <laughs> Get my robot skill up. I'd rather Foxbury myself alive than step foot in their campus. See. You also don't need to be at university to live in this world, so if you're a teacher, you could also live here. Or a creep that just wants to live on a university campus, we don't know. And if you are splitting up the household, you can split the funds between them. Give me your fucking money! So if you would like to send Olivia Jade with 500k of trust fund baby money, be my guest. Or be a rest. I know her mum was. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking seal. Oh, oh my god. Speaking of college admission scandals, you can pay your way into university. And you best believe I that was the first, first thing, thing I did. I did. <laughs> and only for 2,000 simoleons. That is a bargain. <laughs> and I'm very glad I did end up doing this because it is actually difficult to get into university. Imagine something being difficult in The Sims 4. It has never been seen before. <laughs> you actually need the skills to pay the bills to get in. Like I was sitting next to Vicasella and her sim got rejected not once but twice. Denied by both universities? Oh my god! <laughs> and then she proceeded proceeded to cry on the kitchen floor. Am I talking about Sasha or The Sim? We don't know. <laughs> and it's even harder to get into the distinguished degrees, which are basically like the degrees that the school specializes in. Once you've been accepted, you can apply for scholarships and also enroll in university. It's time to go. And then enroll into one of the 14 degrees. And you can also take an elective if you are doing less than four classes per term. Speaking of terms, <laughs> You need 12 credits to graduate, so assuming you're doing four classes or three classes and one elective, the least amount of time you will be spending at university 
it's three terms. And in Sims time, that is a long periodically time. Let me put that into context for you. So, so. <laughs> on normal lifespan, you are a child in game for 13 days, and the least amount of time you will be spending at university is 21 days. If we assume that being a child is from the ages of 5 to 13, that is 8 years. And when you do the maths, it works out that you are at university for at least 12 years of your lifetime. Fuck! <laughs> Before we go to university and become mentally unfit, we need the fit. Big Birkin bag, whole five, six figures. And the clothes that come with this pack are something else. It's like my final brain cell ascended to heaven and asked Jesus to put my Pinterest board in the Sims before prematurely sending me to hell. <laughs> There are fucking culottes, there are fluffy shit teddy jackets, there are basic bitch biker shorts, there are denim overalls and skirts, there are fucking turtlenecks. I don't know why I'm choking myself. There's also some boomer clothes. <laughs> Which are perfectly suited to not one, not two, not three, just kidding, it's three, new careers. <laughs> There's engineering, law, and teaching, but we are getting too ahead of ourselves, so that is, we'll save that for the gameplay. Too ahead? No head. <laughs> the hairs are nice, I'm personally not too fussed about hairs usually, just because custom content exists, but it's always nice to have your hairstyle be actually represented by The Sims. There's also face piercings, which are very large for some reason, like if we put my fat head in for scale, you can see that although this might just be because the sims 4 has a very exaggerated style choices were made <laughs> there's also some masculine hairs his hairline has left the chat and this one looks like harry styles we've had a lot of hair <laughs> harry styles i hope i showed the clothes while i was just going off about harry styles because they are also very great there is a shirt that looks like it came straight out teddy fresh and god bless and then for the kids um <laughs> nothing. I will be calling Childline. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised there's nothing considering this is an adult focus pack, but after the devastation that was Realm of Magic having no, no wizard, wizard clothes, clothes for the kids, kids. How, how dare, dare you? you? But honestly, I think this is one of the best casses we've had ever. Is that okay? Is that allowed? <laughs> and there we have it. Here's the final look for Clown College. <laughs> Cast the world, some of the best, we're two for two, we're on to build, and we have a bunch of Ikea shit. The next stuff pack, Ikea shit. <laughs> but why the fuck do these chairs not snap together? I... My neck is bubbing. I'm about to snap. In terms of new items in this pack, we also have ping pong, a keg stand, bathroom stools, a rimless, rimless shower? No rim, ri no rim. <laughs> and bye. bye! If I don't add Roman Holiday to this clip, it would be a travesty. I would never forgive myself. <laughs> But can someone please explain to me why we have two bars, a keg, juice pong, and we still can't get juiced in this game? I... What is the point in going to uni if you're not gonna get so pissed that you piss yourself on the floor? Just a whole element of university culture is missing in my mind. <laughs> Build mode is also thick. There are many, many windows. So much transparency that YouTubers could never. Everything matches and there's just some real nice stuff in here. <laughs> also the pillars do this now. Is your pillar a show or a grower? <laughs> I mean, as an experienced advanced builder myself, this makes perfect sense. As you're probably aware, I did make the Gucci slide, the Team 10 house, and the Love Island Villa, so naturally I had to progress and push, push, push forward. <laughs> That's what I do every day. So I really think that with this next build, I will finally end the building community. Simsa die, Lil Decisi, dead ligracy. It is my honor to introduce you to the graduation cap house. Disgusting! Manifest your dreams by living in them. Whoa, 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 yeah. And this is why this video is two parts, because there is so much going on. We are finally onto the gameplay. It is time for Tisha to get her education, and naturally I put her in the villain career. <laughs> Which is actually the career that EA put me into at Sims Camp University. They they called my ass out. I need to reenact this. <laughs> Hello Simmers, but most importantly, Sinners. I would like to confirm that we now have Robot Woohoo in The Sims. You can fuck the robot. Thank you, thank you. I would like to thank the Academy, but most importantly, EA, 
for single-handedly enabling my whole career. Tisha was finally settling into uni. We picked the pink bed and in university there is actually a roommate system and to my disgust someone had the audacity to become Tisha's roommate and they, and were, they were roommates. roommates. <laughs> hey bitch, what's up bitch? Suck my dick bitch. I felt like Kylie Jenner waking up Stormy in the morning Rest because I had to wake him up, kick his ass out and lock the doors. I did what I had to do and roommate has now left the chat. For some reason in this expansion, kitchens are banned from dorms. Like there is a culinary degree in this pack. Am I supposed to get my skill up on the microwave? <laughs> I mean that might actually work, this is The Sims. <laughs> so you have to either get food from the cafeteria, which is free, or you can get it from one of these stalls, which sells scones, croissants. Don't make me say it, I won't say it. My dick fell off! And you can also buy a mini fridge and a microwave, which you have to get from one of these tiny little shacks, because you also can't edit the dorms once you've moved in, unless you use a cheat. There is actually a transportation category in build mode, but it does pose the question, will we be getting cars? Let's ride. Like surely the Sims team can't expect to put this in and not have us jump to conclusions. <laughs> Like, if they're tired of the speculation at this point, just imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are. After this weird synchronized run, it was time for our first class. This is a rabbit hole. This is America. <laughs> they will teleport in and then that's it. Tisha was never seen again. I don't really mind the class as being a rabbit hole because I do just speed three through the- Like imagine university in real life but you just speed three through the boring stuff and all you do is the fun shit. That's utopia or euphoria depending on how you play the game of life. Speaking of teen high school shows, my teachers kept showing up Stop. everywhere. And you cannot convince me this is not about to turn into Shut the plot the of Pretty Little Liars. That teacher could be my trans sister who is trying to kill me. Tisha is trans. Tisha is A. The plot has thickened. <laughs> the roommate also just kept standing outside the door all night as if he was entitled to half of that room. The absolute fucking nerve of it all. <laughs> so Tisha did what she had to do. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Is this yeah! my yeah! Her ass was handed to her on a plate. <laughs> the only thing left to do was to eat chicken nuggets and cry. But we still needed to become the alpha of the house, so I decided to terrorize her housemates by riding a bike indoors. <laughs> Why is this an option? <laughs> Never. I mean, I would never mess with the fat pussy energy that was displayed right here. And just when you thought it couldn't get any fatter. <laughs> Immediately Tisha was failing university because I did not know how to play the game. Maybe there was something I was supposed to read, but it doesn't really tell you as you go along, which is also like real life. So naturally she decided to do what she does best. Breast. Best. best. I feel like I'm making one of those Sims machinimas pregnant, pregnant with teacher's baby. baby. I would like to Yo, just disclaim that these are two consenting adults. <laughs> yes, there is an abuse of power. You know what, fuck it. I just wanted to fuck the teacher. Everybody screamed when I fuck the teacher. Abuse of power when I fuck the teacher. Give me better grades. Haha, <laughs> JK and Les. <laughs> Woohoo in the shower. When I fuck the tea. <laughs> Is she pregnant or not? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> I'm gonna be joining the Oh my god! You're pregnant? Is this your pregnancy video? I'm a chicken nugget. Anyway, I don't want to give my full thoughts on the pack just yet because we still have a lot more to cover, but let's discuss a couple of the things that we have seen so far. I love complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I am of the belief that unless people are violently complaining about things, then that's probably good. So just assume that if I am not talking about it, it is good. Although I will say that this has some of the best casts, best world, best build maybe? 9 out of 10 build? There is a new aspiration, but it almost entirely pertains to getting a degree, which would fit in perfectly to then have like a, a law aspiration, an engineering one. Like it feels like a stepping stone aspiration, but the end stone isn't there. There's also no new traits 
what the, what fuck? the fuck? Why are there no trades? <laughs> there are so many traits that would have lent itself perfectly to this pack that for some reason are just not here. I think the problem with traits in The Sims 4 is that a lot of them influence the emotions a lot. And as we know, the emotion system is corrupt. <laughs> I think Molly talked about this on Twitter. Let me just read exactly what she said. <laughs> Hardworking, handy, eccentric, frugal, emotional sm smooge. Those are two separate words. Procrastinator, oh my god. Mouth wide open. But overall, I'm very excited about this pack. I feel like since I have played this pack, my skin has become clearer. clearer. And you know what? None of what I have just said matters because we have yet to smash a robot. Get, Get our robot, robot dick. So join me on Steffo Sunday for part two of this video where I will smash an Alexa. Alexa, clap them cheeks. <laughs>